Hi guys, so as you can see I'm not on a seat box today, I'm actually out carp fishing. Those of you that know me know that I do carp fishing as well as match fishing, I like the match side of the carp stuff. Probably the last couple of years or so I've got more serious in carp fishing, joined the England carp team as well so obviously quite a lot of focus on that. But I do love getting out on bank, just me and Adam spending a bit of time together weekends and getting out carp fishing. So today we're at the approach, which is probably my closest cart venue. Well, it is the closest cart venue to me and you couldn't pick a much better one, to be honest. Fish in here go 50 plus, there's a few 50s in here, quite a few 40s, 30s, mega fish they are. So today I'm actually on the trout lake, old trout lake, no trout in it anymore. And as you can see, it's a massive lake and it's actually right next to Willow's Wake, which is what I normally fish, where all big girls live. But unfortunately it flooded again this winter, so it has flooded in the past. The lake's just combined together, they can't escape or go anywhere. But last time it flooded, the big girls ended up back in this lake. So that's why I'm fancying my chances on here to be fair. It's not long since opened, Fisher, I reckon they're in here, but nobody knows where they are. They will be in between the two lakes somewhere. Pick this peg in particular, there's odd fish showing down here. And obviously if there's fish showing, I fancy my chances for a bite or two. No point going where there's not seen any. When I can get in a peg where there's a few fish showing, that's what you're going to do. So hopefully, I'll keep you informed, but hopefully I'll catch a fish or two, keep you updated, and we'll see how we get on. That's the last rod out on the dance floor, 100 yards, two next to each other. Also got one short here, so like I said, when I arrived, so quite a few fish milling around. Most of the fish that I've seen were 100 yards. 25 wraps so I've put quite a bit of bait out there boilers and pellets and then I've got one in short here chances are well I don't know which one's gonna go like I say there's a few fishing area it's really nice and warm during the day but it's at that time here where it's still quite cold on a night so I'm not 100% sure where the fish are gonna go so I'll play it by ear for now I've put too long because that's where I've seen most of my fish around a bit of bait but I have seen odd fish short so I've got one short just coming up that shelf in shallower water and we'll see how we get on. Slab and a half is that. We've literally just had a carp as well, just getting it sorted for pictures and this goes. Get this buck out and then we'll get sorted. Eh? As you can see guys, literally over my, over my shoulder, just caught a carp. Just literally got that one in there, getting sorted for pictures. Alarm went off on other rod. Ended up with this thing. Not what we came for, but I'm never going to turn a 13 pound bream down. Look at the size of him. Lovely fish, awesome session. Hopefully, we'll catch a few more as well. See how it goes. It's nice just being out on bank doing this sort of fishing. But when you catch fish like this, fish of a lifetime, these for some people. I have, I'm not sure I'll have to check. I think it might be a PB or I might have had a 13 pound before, but it's up there. I've definitely had a 12 and a half, but look at the size of him. Proper box, stocky, lovely fish. So, just before I was rudely interrupted by that 13 pound bream. This is a brute that I had. Look at him, lovely fish. 22 4 he went. Let's grill him down. A nice chunk. Look at belly on him. That's what we've came for. Hopefully he'll send his big brother to catch a few more. Let's get him back. Anymore where he came from. Some big ones as well, but they're all a bonus. 
a wake up call this one. Just before, I think it's half five-ish now, obviously the sun's just rising behind me, beautiful morning. Frost on ground, freezing out there. When you get a wake up call like this, you can't complain. Not quite the 20 pound mark, just short, 19, 10 I think it is. Look at him, proper bruiser. Lovely fish. Fell again to solid bags, so I've caught all of them on solid bags so far. Filled with just micro pellets and a few code red, 12 millis over the top. He's fishing it quite close and it is deep this lake. So we're just finding where the shelf drops off, flicking it out, catching a few there. Slipping back in the sun. Off he goes. Come on. That's what we like. Look at that, it's lovely as that sunrise, isn't it? Lovely and bright, it's going to be a warm day again. That's it, a bit of frost on the ground, a bit of a shock when I lifted into him to be fair, a bit of ice on handle and whatnot. But what does it matter when they look that nicer? It's Adam's go now, take it in turn, so he's hooked one. Another one on solid bag caught short. Look at that lovely day for it. Feel a big one, Ad? Yeah, They're all more than welcome. <laughs> don't know where it is. I'll be on netting duties, I believe. I'll go down here. Oh. <laughs> Once he's ready, I'll go in and net him. So there we have it, folks. Safely in the net. Nice looking common. Gonna get it all weighed up, just got mat and that, so just gonna get everything wet up, walk, water bucket, mat, gonna go get scales, give him a weigh, then we'll show you what he's like. Give you a quick look at rod before I get it back out and where we caught it as well. There we go. Go on then, Adam, talk us through it. Nice little common, 17 and a half pound. Nice, look at him, lovely. Just a quick look at the fish. Awesome looking fish that is. Let's get him back. Like a bar of gold. Getting him back. Yeah. Right guys, just gonna give you a quick run through how we caught the well, last three fish now basically. Solid bags. Normally pre-prepare some, so as you can see in here. And that one we're on a yellow pop-up. So yellow pop-up in corner. I like to keep them in corner. Nice little bags. Like it like match fishing, so what I do is it's like a little method feeder basically. Put it out, your bait sits there. It's like how I like to see it. And then get that one out. At the side, just got some code red, been soaked. See them, literally just fire about that many over the top. Three or four catty worth with like four, five, six boilers in each. Plop a few over the top and leave it. Simple as that. And then I'll show you where I'm putting it. Not far out at all. Just a little over and flick. off edge of that tree, nice little drop and then, then I'll literally just fire a few boilies over the top There we go, made myself some chilli nachos, gonna demolish them got myself a can of cider, sit back relax, nice bit of sun Hopefully a big wobbly one will come along, but if not, I'll see you in the morning. So, we know what this one means, guys. 
not on night duty. Woohoo! Just short of 20 pound again. But look at that. I'd my nachos, sat having a beer watching Lake as I said. This one goes and comes along. It means I'm not on night duty, so I get a nice good sleep. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully we have a few fruit night, but it's nice going to bed knowing that it's not my turn. Look at that, lovely. Getting put back and hopefully might see fruit, might, might not. If not, we'll see you in the morning for a catch up. Morning, as you can see, smile on my face, cup of tea in hand, and we've had a fish. I say we've had a fish at Adam's go, so Adam's had a fish. Early hours of this morning, half four, quarter to five ish, just before it got light. One turner, screamed off, 18 and a half pound. What a way to start the day. So, been up since that, having a look. Not seen much, to be honest. Caught it, that one again on short line, finding about six, eight foot of water, solid bags, few code red over at top. It seems to be doing trick. Normally been catching them, well, that's the earliest one we've had, half four in the morning. We've had one half five in the morning, and then we have no fruit day usually, and then half four, half five, half six at night we've had them. So I don't mind that time's fruit day. You can put around, get all your stuff sorted. Fruit night, you can sleep, evenings, early mornings, time for fish. Let's see how we get on today. Gonna freshen up, change your clothes, have a decent wash, get rods back out, and I'll see you soon. There we go, living the breamers I'd say. <laughs> Most people would turn their nose up at these carp anglers, don't like bream, but obviously being from a match fishing background, fish of this, a fish of a lifetime for some people as I keep saying. Second one now, this one's £12.6 I think it was. Stunning fish, full of spawning nodules, couple of beeps on rod, far hour away, lifted up. Obviously a couple of nods, knew it were a bream, but when they look like this, don't care. Look at him, awesome he is. Let's get a picture and then I'll release him. So there we go, one last quick look at him before he goes. Just hold him in water, let him recover. Just hold him straight, get a bit of breath back for him. Just hold on to the wrist of his tail. Once he's ready to go, he'll start kicking. And then I'll let him go. Go on then mate. Off you go. Send the carp. That's what we want to see. There we go. He's wiggling a bit now. Let him go. What a take that one. Literally this short hand rod again. Just down to the left hand side, other side of this bush. Sat chilling out. Looking for sure. We haven't seen anything sure to be honest. Literally just ripped off. Most sort of things you've got a few beats and it's just gone. This one it like bang gone. I'm hoping it's a bit bigger. Could be old at this side, but it's just nice to have one. Like I say, we've not seen old today this evening. Just been sat out. It's just ripped off out of nowhere. Banging its head like a good one it is. Slowly from that short line again. There you go, the prize at the end. Took off like, well, all other bites have just been a couple of beeps we've looked and then they've gone. This one were a screamer, there's no mistaking it. That's what you get fishing on them short lines sometimes. Soon as it hit the bait, bang, it were off into, well, I say middle of the lake, it definitely took 30 40 yards. Played it in, lovely looking fish, nice common again. Hopefully we'll get some more tonight, see how it goes. We've been getting bites on an evening and first thing on the morning, which is nice. So we get quite a nice sleep as well at the same time. But when they're like this, you don't mind getting interrupted. Sat there, looking at lake, not seeing all in particular to be fair, odd little fish here and there. And then this comes out of blue, boom, there we go. Right, that's it. Session's come to an end now. Literally just about to reel my rods in, but what a lovely time I've had. Sun's been shining like this all the time. High pressure, I've had some frost on the morning, quite cold on the morning to be fair, but when sun gets out, it's lovely. 
I ended up with six carp and two bream between 17 and 22 pound I think they were lovely fish fit hard fighting and then them two bream lovely fish they were unexpected as well none of the big girls this time but I will be back for another go pop up like I say it's pretty local to me so I'll be down for a few overnighters and hopefully a few longer sessions as well hopefully I'll catch one at big girls this year but if not I'll keep trying until I do thanks for watching hope you liked it something a bit different like and subscribe and I'll bring you plenty more cheers guys